everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I feel like that thing's crooked. Wait a minute. <laughs> it feels like it's not level. Okay, I'm back. The, oh. huh? Is it all right up and down? Yeah, it's got like, um, probably a foot above my head. Let's see, where's my, my hand? It's right, right there, and you can still see my hand. Okay. And you can see right, right here of the body. So I guess I'm good. Well, I'm in my library. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you the little video of us putting it in here. Actually, Jim doing the work. I did help a little. But that's what you're going to see today. You're going to see this. And you're not going to see me put any of the books on. I've got some of the books on. i still got more to go. But I have, I, you know, it takes time. <laughs> And I want to get them, they're, they're um, still not categorized totally. I did put the children, some of the children's books on the one side and some of the coloring books. There's coloring books in here. And there's um, religious books and there's a lot of cookbooks. I don't cook anymore, but there's a lot of cookbooks. And they're fun to look at. And sometimes my kids will call and want to know how to make something and I can tell them. And there's medical books because when I worked at the county home, I was very interested in the um, what pills did. A lot of pills, They're, you know, because we'd go in in the morning and we'd get our, our report of what went on in the night or the shift before us. And they would go over the different drugs that somebody got or somebody, excuse me, somebody had PRN or um, a daily dose of and what they were and the reactions to what they were getting. And I wanted to know what that pill looked like, and I wanted to know the side effects of that pill, and I wanted to know what that pill was really good for. So I have those books. And then I have the homopathic books, because there's the things that you would learn to take care of without having to go to a doctor. Then there's this great, big, huge, old, old, old book. It was a medical book that, I don't know, it was came from your families. Mm. And the... the spine is coming oh, off. Yeah. See it over there? That probably came from my grandmother. Probably. It's old. It's really got some old remedies in there, which will be fun to look at. When I opened it the first time I opened it, it had a lot of silverfish in there. You know, silverfish that like paper? And so it was kind of a buggy book. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm the lady that likes <laughs> bugs, of uh, certain bugs. Silverfish are not bad, but they are they do like paper, so they do like old books. And I have the Merck Manual, and I have, um, I have, I have a lot. I have a lot of um, books that I forgot I even had, and I have magazines that I saved. There's because I don't buy a lot of magazines. I did save the ones that I have, and I'm glad I did because the magazines today have nothing in them compared to what they used to have in them. So let's go to that video, and you can see. The process of putting the books, bookshelves into my library. We'll go there. Okay. Yeah. You take the sawhorses out.
Give it a try. Well, let's see if the stud finder works. Yep, it works. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Let's hope the studs are in the right place. Oh, there's one. turn out. <laughs> I don't know either, but I know you're going to have to do some cleaning. I'm going to have to do some clipping. What, I have to vacuum up there? <laughs> I suppose I could do it. <laughs> no, I can get the little hand thing. Well, it's a real progress, or no, what? Process. Process, yeah, I knew it was a real process, it really was, and we made progress. <laughs> <laughs> there, now I used the right word, yep. but it really looks nice, doesn't it? I think so. Jim, you did a great job, and that's what people will be telling me, and I'll be thanking them for you. So. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Thank you, and to all your followers thank you too for I will. Yeah, I'll, for I'll say Jim say said thanks. thank you <laughs> I'm sure he will because I read him you know I read him the comments um, a lot of times I read the comments to him just because I said you know this one's about you or this one has you and this one's this is what I wrote back and we share that part of this YouTubing and he helps me set things up even though I'm a pain in the cool sometimes <laughs> You said it, not me. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Well, all right. Well, let's say goodbye. And I'll see you tomorrow in my new spot. I'll see you then. Okay, bye.